Hi, and welcome to the sixth part of our tutorial on how to solve a New York Times crossword puzzle. This is the second to last part of the series with only the Sunday puzzle left to go tomorrow. Uh, and hopefully this will be useful. The Saturday puzzle is notoriously difficult. Uh, it's a theme list, just like the Friday, but uh, definitely expect harder clues, definitely expect more uh, difficult words. So since we've kind of covered the basics of how to solve a crossword puzzle at this point today, we're probably going to focus mostly on the clues. So we'll try to talk through uh, how to figure out ones that you're just not sure on. With that said, let's jump in. All right, so this is a fairly standard uh, Saturday layout, and you'll notice that the grid is divided into five clear sections. So we're basically going to have to crack into each section using just a couple of letters and then uh, see where we go from there. So let's still start in the top left. Who said fashion changes, but style endures? Well, a quote about fashion could be somebody like Coco Chanel, and Chanel does have six letters, so that's my initial thought. Let's check to see if any of these downwards would have uh, first letters that line up with Chanel. Obsolescent music holder, not sure. Border collie by nature, not sure, but it probably ends in ER because it sounds like it's referring to a verb. Uh, Runner-up to affirmed in every 1978 Triple Crown race, not a clue. Nero's Zero. Nero is a Roman emperor, um, so probably Nihil, which is, I believe, Latin for zero. And that does line up with Chanel, so let's go ahead and plug that in, and we can always change it later. Fizz, not sure. Shrunken Head. Notice the question mark there. It's probably an abbreviated term for a uh, bathroom, uh, which is sometimes called a head. So my guess would be lav for lavatory. Could be a loo in the uh, UK as well. But uh, my guess is lav, especially because distressing character in the Bible. That question mark again tips us off that we're in a weird, weird clue here. Um, so we should be paying attention, we should be paying special attention to any unusual words in the clue. And this, in this case, distressing. Is actually distressing. Um, in this case, distressing is actually distressing, uh, removing hair. And so uh, we can put in Delilah who is uh, from the story of Samson and Delilah. And now the rest of this should go pretty fast. We can uh, fill in lav for lavatory, no problem. Uh, fizz, probably elan, uh, one of those crossword D's words that means pep or style. Those latter patterns look fine to me. Uh, not sure on the horse. Border collie by nature, probably a herder. Border collie is used as a shepherd dog. Obsolescent music holder, CD-ROMs, CD-DISC, hmm, not sure what that ends with. Oh, I bet it's CD-CASE. That would make sense. Mm, I'm not so sure about that. Nile, Warn of Disaster. Oh, no, it's fine. It's Cry Havoc. Uh, that would have been a weirdly weird pattern to have in a single word, but in a phrase, it's just fine. So Cry Havoc and Slip the Dogs of War. Contribute to the mix, that's add in. Word after Christmas or fur. Mm, not sure there. Stumble, error to go wrong. And runner up to affirmed. Well, I just don't know the name of the horse. I'm pretty sure everything else here is right. So let's take a hard look. Word after Christmas or fur. Christmas seal? Um, I don't think it's a consonant, that's for sure. Christmas cell, fur cell, doubt it. Mm, I'm not seeing anything here, which means we must have another word that's wrong. Hmm. Word after Christmas or fur. Christmas gift, Christmas tree, fur tree, fur tree? Nope. Um, Christmas soul, fur soul. Christmas sale, Christmas 
star first star uh, this isn't coming how very annoying word after christmas or fur Hmm. Well, let's leave it for now. I'm not wild about leaving that because we're just going to have to deal with it later, but uh, it's better than uh, staying here forever. All right, let's move on. 1800s migrant, uh, not sure, and relatives of accordions, not sure. So this is what uh, I was worried about. We're probably going to have to break in a second time and maybe a third, fourth, fifth time if we can't make use of the handful of letters that we have for each section. But let's give it a shot nonetheless. Criminal patterns in brief. Well, that's MOs, modus operandi. Uh, so that's a helpful one. And now let's try these words again. 1800s migrant. What's happening in the 1800s? Homesteader. Homesteader. Don't even know really who homesteaders were, but I do know that it's a term from American history. And if I'm thinking 1800s migrants, I'm thinking something to do with the Civil War or maybe settling uh, or colonizing the Western United States. Um, so I like homesteader here. Relatives of accordions. Some sort of musical instrument. Not sure. Best in class. Summa cum laude. Not enough spaces. Uh, that's okay, though, because we've now got a new word to build off of. So let's check these crosses. Flat fees, rents. It's uh, flat as in the uh, British apartment, British flat. Uh, tank tops, I want to say turrets. Hmm. Reward for a bad MBA team. Number one draft pick, right? Draft pick, draft choice. Monet's Train in the Snow, or the Magpie, no idea. Hack job, no idea. Taxi, maybe a taxi for the hack. Taxi driver, cab fare, transportation, not seeing anything. I often play word association with words that I see in the, in the clues, and uh, I just don't know what they refer to. But uh, sometimes that can jar something loose, sometimes it doesn't. Isotopes of element number 88. All right, well, that's probably going to be radiums. I don't know if that's element number 88. Uh, well, that D is awfully convincing. Let's try it and pull it if, if we don't get anything to double check it. Hangs in the balance. Pens, probably. Uh, Chang, I believe that's Rayleigh. Uh, I don't know my uh, Pulitzer finalists that well, unfortunately, but all of these crosses look okay. All of these letter patterns look okay. So let's try this again. Relatives of accordions, concertinas. I never knew what a concertina was, but I bet it's a musical instrument that's a lot like an accordion. I do know the word, even if I don't know what it means, so that uh, gives us something to work with. And again, these letter patterns look fine, so I think we're good. Best in class, star student. Nothing but a uh, good letter pattern to solve that. Espionage gadgets, that's going to be spy cams. Espionage gives us spy right away. And then gadgets points us pretty clearly toward cams. And then dump. Hmm. Dump. Uh, Real lousy apartment, um, some sort of garbage dump. Maybe it could be the verb. Not sure. Let's uh, let's try a couple of crosses. Tank tops, probably gas caps. Yeah, gas tanks, gas caps. That explains the question mark. Um, lottery pick. That's what we were looking for for uh, reward for bad NBA team. This has got to be rat trap. One who's finished, that's a goner. Technical data will be specs. Add, oh, I don't actually know. Um, press coverage, that's got to be ink. Uh, Monet's Train in the Snow or the Magpie, those must be winter paintings, so winter scene. And hack job, cyber attack, ad lib, that makes sense. All right, so we've got the center done, and now we've got our pick of three separate sections to work with. Let's take a quick peek back here, just to see if we're any closer. Word after Christmas or fur. 
word after Christmas or fur. Seal, Ali Dar. I just don't know my horses. I kind of want it to be Alador. I'm not seeing it here. Well, let's um, let's leave it. All right, a mixture of what appears to be ESP and early Christian faith per a 1977 New York Times film review. Well, I know Star Wars came out in 1977, but that won't track with these letters. What are some other 1977 movies that could be described as ESP plus early Christian faith? Lib. Baracci? No, I don't think so. Not sure. Shelved for now? Not sure. All right, we're going to have to crack in again in this section. Let's give it a shot. Little pointer. Could be a toy dog, something like that. Certain handheld or hand holding. Hmm, PDA. That's it. Because uh, a public display of affection would be hand-holding, and a PDA would be a personal data assistant. So that would be uh, handheld. All right, little pointer. Pinky, maybe? Member of the Scooby-Doo gang. Uh, there's Fred, there's Shaggy, there's Scooby. There's, oh, God. Who are the, who are the girls? Dharma? I don't think that's right. Dar, ugh. <laughs> I should watch more Scooby-Doo, apparently. We'll get it. Source of college credit informally. AP something? AP calc, I bet. Uh, college credit suggests um, a high school or a college course, obviously. And if you're getting college credit in high school, it's probably an AP course. And there's only so many shortened forms of... Uh, uh, high school courses that you've got to work with because the informally tells us that we're getting a shortened version of the full term. So it could be AP Bio if it's five letters, but with six letters, I bet it's AP Calc. could be AP Trig, but Calc is usually the more advanced course. We'll see. Knox, I bet that's Raps, and those crosses look fine. Part of Fios... Well, if it's part of Fios, it probably starts with one of those letters, but I don't know for sure. Daphne. Daphne is uh, one of the Scooby gang. That's it. All right. Um, Fios is like fiber optics, right? What if we try optic? AP trig? Yeah, I guess that's probably right. Um, searches through, that's got to be sifts. Uh, joint venture. Joint could be a pun on marijuana. But I'm not sure. Um, shelved for now. Not sure. Upscale provider of grooming services. Not sure. Not like an AP trig. Hmm. Little pointer. Little pointer. What's a pointer? It's a dog. It's a laser pointer. It's a finger. Little pointer. Little pointer? Hmm. Oh, I see. So it is a reference to Star Wars here. A mixture of what appears to be ESP and early Christian faith. That's the Force. So helpful to know uh, movie release here sometimes. AP test. An AP test will get you advanced college credit in the States. All right, that works. Shelved for now, in stock, temporarily shelved at least. Uh, little pointer pro tip, that's very good. I like that. Um, joint venture, could be joint is in jail. Oh, co-op. A co-op is a joint venture because several people, several neighbors come together on it. Uh, pet spa, probably, and RCA, I can well believe that's an old parent company of NBC. I don't know anything about it, but it seems right. All right, let's come back to this guy, word after Christmas or fur. When there's a word you just don't know in the puzzle, it's often a good idea to just keep coming back to it periodically and see if anything's shaken loose for you. Uh, word after Christmas or fur. Still not seeing anything. All right, um, I'm right on the verge of pulling this corner apart, trying to figure out what it is. 
Uh, and I think that's exactly what we'll do, in fact. Because it's bugging me. So most of these words we're going to put right back in, but uh, when you're in doubt in a corner, pull everything out and refill it and see if anything pops. So I still think Warn of Disaster is Cry Havoc. I don't see what else that could be. That lines up very nicely with Lav. Uh, whoops. And I still think distressing character in the Bible has got to be Delilah. Um, Fizz, not sure. Nero, zero. I bet that's Niall still, but I'll leave it. Don't know. Border Collie by nature, don't know. CD case, air, still seems right. Hmm. Border Collie by nature. Not sure, but I still think contribute to the mix is add in, add to maybe. Nah, that wouldn't work. It's got to be add in. Um, border Collie by nature. I still think that's a herder. And I still think this has got to be Chanel. And I still think that's probably Niall, but I'll leave it out for now. Christmas... Hmm. Seed, fur seed, Christmas. Just drawn a blank here. Let's pull out add in too. All right, let's leave it like that and then come back to it after the next section. Uh, John something, English philosopher and theologian who made an early translation of the Bible. What a Bible today. Um, don't know offhand. Wycliffe, Wymouth, maybe. I just don't know the name. Stereotypically lenient parent. Um, hmm. Stereotypically. Not sure. Let's try to break in. Bashful friend. That's got to be Doc. Bashful is the, is the dwarf. Uh, so Doc is his friend and the only... Uh, Three-lettered dwarf is Doc in Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Stereotypically lenient parent. Co 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 ka co ka co co cor com co. Don't know. Um, Wycliffe is looking better and better, but we'll see. Spots for snakes. Spots for snakes. Drains, not the living snakes, but the tools. Okay, so the rest of this should be okay. Sound of Music character who's 17 going on 18. I don't know the Sound of Music. Rita, maybe. Uh, Strange. I bet that's Alien. Sure, we can chat now. I'm free. Crosses look okay. Pouty Cry. Not sure. Seems crooked. Slants, maybe. Cool Mom. Cool Mom is a stereotypically lenient parent. That does look like Wycliffe. Um, Unbroken is Feral, so that would be Rolf. Uh, which is fine. Sound of Music is set in the Alps, so I can believe that is a name. Uh, masculine name that sometimes follows Mac. Hmm. Mac. N hmm. Neil? Nell? Why would that follow Mac? Not sure. No fair. Gotta be. Uh, workplaces for LPNs. LPN is a licensed practical nurse, so this has got to be an ER. And seems crooked. Smells. Okay, so it is Neil. Masculine name that sometimes follows Mac. McNeil? Oh, as in the last name McNeil. Okay, that makes sense. That's a weird clue, but fine. Um, word after Christmas or fur? This is driving me crazy. Word after Christmas or fur? Fur ball, fur. Hmm. How sure am I of CD case? Because usually when something's just not coming like this, it means we have a letter wrong. What if we pull CD case and leave in Niall and Elan, both of which I am pretty sure of? Put in? I think it's got to be CD case. 
Word after Christmas or fur. All right, let's leave it. Um, Coconut-covered snack cakes. Those are snowballs, right? Yeah, with the weird spelling in America. We don't have them in Canada. Its concise version has almost 1,700 pages abbreviated. I've seen that clue before. It's OED for Oxford English Dictionary. Very common uh, three-letter word for uh, crosswords and one that definitely comes up frequently on Fridays and Saturdays. Women's Soccer Powerhouse. Uh, I don't recognize any countries that begin with T-E. Let's leave it for now. Tower on a mountain. Tower on a mountain. Tower. It's a T-bar. So uh, it's the word tower disguised as the word tower. That's very clever. Um, Women's Soccer Powerhouse. T. Not sure. Cloth dealer in Britain. Draper, probably. That sounds likely. Why wouldn't you just clue that as the Mad Men character? That's weird. Reality show staple, drama. That's on every reality show. Swimper Torres, who medaled in five Olympic Games. I believe that's Dora Torres, but I could be wrong. Sets right, true's got to be. Call to account. That must be haul up, so I must be wrong on Dora. Um, High occupancy vehicle lane is another word for a car lane in the States. That can be an HOV lane. Ominous phrase, mm, or else, gotta be. Um, one of the Seven Sisters, I think that's a reference to colleges in the States, and Vassar is a college, so I bet it's Dar- Dara and Vassar. And Women's Soccer Powerhouse is Team USA. Okay, so we really are done except for this one spot. Border Collie by Nature. That's gotta be Herder. There's no way. That's correct. And contribute to the mix. I want this to be admin, just looking at the letter pattern, but there's no way that's it. It's got to be add in. All right, so what are we missing here? Confident in Chanel. Confident in Delilah. Confident in Cry Havoc. Confident in contribute to the mix. Confident in air. Confident in CD case. Confident in Herder. And confident in Nile. It's got to be seal, because that's the only word that even... S-E-A-L, because that's the only word that even comes close to making sense after both Christmas or fur. Fur seal? A seal covered with fur? Sure. What would a Christmas seal be? I don't know, but Alidar sounds possible. But it's not sell. And of the vowels, only A seems to work. All right, let's try it. Yep, there we go. Okay, so sometimes you just uh, end in a frustrating way, but overall that was a pretty smooth puzzle. We kind of cleared out each section uh, in turn, and uh, this is this is actually a decent tip. When you just have a letter you absolutely do not know, come back to it occasionally uh, after working on the rest of the puzzle, and sometimes you'll uh, solve it. And in the end, we did, even though it uh, took us a minute. All right, so hopefully that was informative. Uh, Pretty smooth puzzle today, and uh, I'll see you back tomorrow for the 